tech giants are picking a curious time for a commercial break. Back in 2019, subscription services were taking over as everything from wine to razor blades went recurring. That seems an age away now. Disposable income is being squeezed by soaring food and energy costs, prompting consumers to tighten their belts. In the first quarter, Britain's cancelled 1.5 million streaming service subscriptions, according to market researcher Kantar. An obvious solution is to run more ads, potentially lowering the sticker price of services while keeping revenue up. Netflix and Disney are preparing to welcome ads to their streaming services, while gaming giants Sony and Microsoft are also considering building systems to allow for in-game advertising, according to reports from Business Insider. But the risk is that ad demand falters. Higher interest rates and energy costs are raising the risk of a recession, which could whack marketing budgets. In 2009, US media ad spending fell 18% year on year, according to eMarketer. Social media giant Snap recently cut its forecast for second quarter sales, saying the economy had worsened faster than expected. Meanwhile, analysts at Morgan Stanley downgraded ad agencies WPP and Publicis. Still, the dash for ads should have some clear winners, the ad tech firms who hook up publishers with advertisers. These include $25 billion Trade Desk, which already has partnerships with Paramount Plus and Comcast-owned Sky, and $2 billion Criteo, which uses technology to track web surfers and help advertisers retarget them. Cash-strapped consumers are likely to jump at cut-price ad-backed services. Now the tech giants just need advertisers to hold the line.